How long do we get to be the cool dads? Uh, yeah, oh. Hello. Okay, um, yeah, just give me a second. You're welcome. Hey, sorry about that. I just got a phone call and my wife is home and all of that. So anyway, back to the dads. Um, I think we just have to expect the fact that as dads, we become the machine that once raged against and accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Yep, Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. Sure she does. I don't think she does. <laughs> Amanda, I'm cool, right? Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. Yeah, no, Franklin, you're not cool. You're not cool. <laughs> as much as we all want. I don't think it's important to be... I think I don't think it's as important to be a cool dad as much as a good dad. <laughs> we can't all be friends with our kids. Look at me in earnest. Yeah. It'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me feel, think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? I mean, I think if you're still on good terms with your with with your kids when they're teens, then you're probably good. Um, don't let us eat up your time, Franklin. Come meet some of the other people. Yes, Franklin. Let's meet other people. Um, mm, let's talk to... Let's talk to... Mm -hmm. Let's talk to Robert and Brian. I want to talk to Robert some more. Glance across, across the yard and notice Robert and Brian ch chatting over drinks. Man, I don't think I want to deal with being one up by Brian or whatever happened with Robert last night. That was two nights ago, not last night. I think your timeline is warped. Um, oh no, they caught me staring. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. Oh no. <laughs> Flash a smile and walk over to them. Hey guys. Well, Brian seems to like you at least. Um, how the heck are you? Setting out into the neighborhood all right? Oh, you bet you got the living room in order at least. That's great to hear. We've been doing some living room work as well. Finally got the 50 inch in there. The game looks great in high def. Yeah, he very much likes to one-up you. Um, Franklin, have you met Robert yet? Yes, we've met. <laughs> Robert regrets me over his whiskey. Good seeing you again. Well, we're just talking about my worst recent camping trip. Spent the woods at Daisy and Mac. Spent the night out in the woods with Daisy and Macwell. Oh, definitely outdoorsy one. Even caught her first fish. It's good to see you taking your daughter out like that. I bet she loved it. And it's great that she loves the outdoors. Mine loves being inside. <laughs> oh, Amanda. <laughs> Ryan raises his eyebrow at me. Being inside making art. She won a local competition for that art. Yep. Yep, my kid's cool too. My kid's cool too. <laughs> Robert stares at me blankly. Anyway, I haven't gone camping in years. Not since the last time. Same here. Well, things change once you have kid. Wait, what happened the last time? What did happen last time, Robert? <laughs> he takes a long sip of whiskey. Because of course he does. Ooh, his kid's name is Johnny Boy. Oh no, Johnny Boy's a strong kid. Met him, met him in my army days. Okay, he's from Kansas. Johnny Boy breaks his ankle when the rut bridge snaps. Ooh, ouch. Ouch, ouch. Yeah, no. I definitely don't want to read about that. Got a fireman carry six foot, 180 pound man over some of the toughest terrain I've ever been in. I won't lie to you, there were moments during those two days when I thought about leaving old Johnny Boy. Oh no. Yeah. Back to civilization, lost some of me out there. I guess that's camping for you. Yep, I guess it is. Mm. So that's awkward. I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went inner tubing down a river and he lost a flip flop. Really? I think the first story was true. I think the first story is true and he wants to keep that aura of mystery and aloofness. Brian and I laugh nervously. Or am I kidding? Yeah. I think you are. <laughs> You're, yeah. I don't think I like you. <laughs> I'm kidding. Man and Daisy barrel up to us laughing. Daisy is holding paper plate in front of her like a steering wheel. Aw. We gotta get off this haunted truck. Oh no, the ghost locked the doors. <laughs> Oh, I bet they watched the ice trucking ghost hunters too. Um, hit the emergency escape button, but trucks don't have emergency escape buttons. Then hit the brake, I guess. 
The imaginary truck. Daughters saying things. I want to talk to the dads more. You know, that reminds me of the last time I went. Oh, are we going to have another gory story, Robert? <laughs> See, Brian feels the same way. <laughs> Wait a second. Are you guys playing long haul extra paranormal ghost truckers? Of course they are, Brian. What else would they be doing? <laughs> yeah, Amanda, and I love that show. Caleb hides one's keys and Flint retaliates by breaking it. Ooh, we have a common interest with Brian. I do enjoy it. That, that and war documentaries, of course you would, Robert. Uh, that was kind of bugs make a great meal. Lots of protein. Mm hmm <laughs> Yeah. That's cute. Okay, come on you guys. Let me talk to the dads again. What a couple of cute kids. Man, I've never seen her get along with anyone so quickly. Ooh, our kids get along. I guess Amanda just sort of has a way with kids. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Hmm, it's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Maybe you can. Hmm. <clears throat> She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teachers say she spends, oh, Daisy doesn't have any friends. That's cute. I mean, sad. Why did I say that's cute? Anyway, that's sad. Um, Amanda wish I had Daisy's age too. She used to have a habit of crawling at her tables and crying. <laughs> oh, Amanda. That's so sad. <laughs> Kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. Okay, I know that Robert has kids, but he hasn't talked about them yet, and I want to know more about Robert's kids. Uh, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. They do seem to- yeah, play date and then a date date for the dads? Maybe? Maybe? Um, I mean, yeah. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. Go meet some of the other fellas. So now let's talk to Joseph and Damien. That guy from Dead Buff and Beyond by the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to them. Let's talk to Damien. So I'm curious. Can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Joseph, do you need to ask? Are you looking at him? Are you looking at this man right now? Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in winter. It provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood. And it complements the crimson interior perfectly. And also, he's a vampire. Um... Yeah, it's definitely an interesting choice. Thank you, I'm very proud of my abode. Franklin, I was just having a conversation with Damien here about his aesthetic design decisions. He's, he's goth, he's gonna paint his house black. Uh, Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. How do you do? I can't, don't believe I've had the pleasure. I certainly had the pleasure of spotting you in the Hot Topic earlier. Um, I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I, I must apologize for my behavior that day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously. Yes, we know. You painted your house black. Uh, cop. <laughs> yes, yes, profoundly frustrating. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no such way for a gentleman to act. It's okay, man. Oh. Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes, my daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one that I took to Dead Goth and Beyond. Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? Not really. Um, hey Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? Oh my god, Franklin, way to be a dork. Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but I guess if I had to choose, I would more describe myself as twee hipster with some normcore leanings. <laughs> I think that's accurate. I'd say that's pretty accurate. Bats are cool though. Ah, <laughs> oh, pity. <laughs> um, yep, we are enjoying this party, talking to all of you dads here. Nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone is so friendly and welcoming. Amanda walks up to the conversation. I also like The Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Lost Boys was filmed really close to my hometown in Santa Cruz. What what? Um, anyway. <laughs> That it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting Damon Blood <laughs> Blood March. I mean, I guess my last name is Clamazon. I can't, I can't judge too harshly. <laughs> but Blood March, okay. Uh, flourish and a bow produced <laughs> a single rose. He certainly has a flair for the dramatic, now doesn't he? Uh, Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. 
my do you know how, my do you know how to treat a lady hello amanda oh gosh come play with us they're creepy seemingly out of nowhere joseph's twin kids joseph's twin kids appear uh are they speaking in unison of course they are they're creepy uh hey <laughs> won't you come play oh god they actually did the thing they actually did the thing oh no <laughs> Don't! Don't! Amanda, don't go play with them! Guys, enough with the dream and twin stick. We've talked about this. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Where do you think they got that from? Mary pops into the conversation, wine in hand. Of course she does. I don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. I think I might have taped over the VeggieTales features in The Shining. <laughs> Oh, they would have Veggie Tales VHS tapes. Um, she takes another sip of her wine. Where's Krish? Was he with you? Oh my gosh. You had him a moment ago. No, she didn't. She specifically said she didn't know where he was. Um, he's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be alright. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Uh, Mary tips her glass to me. Ain't my first time to the radio. It's my fourth. Yes, Mary, we know. <laughs> I have squeezed four, little sweetheart. Won't you do me a favor, favor and please find Krish? That would be great. Mary, go find your toddler. Go find your toddler. <laughs> Dad, you... Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, of course! Of course the goth youth from the school is Damien's son. Why didn't I think of that? Ah, Lucian, I <laughs> introduced you. We've met. We've we've met, Damien. I remember you. Whatever. That's no way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Uh, he was already pretty rude to me, so I think that first impression is botched. Um, Lucian bows. Whatever, sir. Lucian bows again. Mr. Christensen, uh, may I have a veggie burger, sir? Mm-hmm. Ooh, he's a vegetarian. Oh, they're both vegetarian. <laughs> Did you know that some people of the Victorian era were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. I mean, Damien, you're practically a vampire already. Why not just go full hog? But whatever. That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to, turns to the grill, just a hint of tattoo. Ooh. Ooh, Joseph has a tattoo. Mr. Straight Lace Preppy has a tattoo. <laughs> I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know. What? <laughs> and apparently Lucy has to do too. A lopsided 666 in black ink. Oh my god. Oh, and there it is. You can see it peeking out. My buddy gave me a stick and poke that deal last week. Oh, little rebel. <laughs> we'll talk about this later. That's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Of course. I mean, he's what, like 16? Yeah. Yeah. I'm careful though. That number carries weight. <laughs> Says the pastor. Um, of course he would. Joseph is a way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out of the wound with a Bible. I guess, I wonder what he did before preaching. Oh, you know, probably raging homosexual lifestyle or whatever. When without further ado, let's work some magic. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest ease, he sets patties on the grill, flourishing as he flips his spatula into the air. It's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. Uh, you guys think this is my first time in front of a grill? Well, I mean, if you host these cookouts regularly, it's probably not. Effortlessly tossing cheese onto patties, perfectly grilling onions on the side after one after another, the dads take notice and crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful technique. You probably didn't know this, Franklin, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. I bet he's, he's ungrillable. <laughs> Thank you, Brian, for the dad pun. Uh, I've tried to get on his level, but I just can't catch up. Oh, uh, yes, the dad pun. <laughs> Let us keep saying he has a rare quality about him. <laughs> Oh, and I love that Matt still has the flower crown on. <laughs> and Damien's getting in on the dad puns too. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Even Robert. Oh, I love you guys. <laughs> okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. Oh, Hugo, you tried. You. Tried. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda. 
Thank you. All of the children at the party boo the glorious display of puns in unison. Of course they do. All right, guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. <laughs> Amanda groans. We'll grab our food and hang out. Enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. <laughs> Gee, very wild. It's almost as if it was by design. Uh, <laughs> sorry, too meta. Kind of nice, isn't it? I feel as like there's a real community here. It totally helps when you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Oh. Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Yeah, she will. Why do we have us all on dad book? It's like Facebook for dads. Oh my god, yeah. It's like Facebook for dads. That's so great. Yes. No, Franklin, we have to join Dad Book. <laughs> Don't worry, Puffs. I'll help you figure it out. Thank you, Amanda. Yes. Help us join Dad Book. Uh, rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beer as our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up the fight between Carmen Sita and those weird twins. I think they wanted to take her soul. Oh, goodness. Uh, Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Oh, yay, and I unlocked the Welcome to the Neighborhood achievement. Yay. Uh, I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. Pretty fun party, don't you think? Um, I felt like I was at a networking event. I mean, yeah, I felt like I was at a networking event. <laughs> I'm gonna get LinkedIn notifications out of this. I just know it. You probably are, actually. Lots of random people add you on LinkedIn. Um, you don't think it's nice that people want to connect with you? Not when their affection jams up my inbox, metaphorically speaking. Come on, Franklin. Embrace the affection. Embrace the jam. Jam. Um, well, hey, at least you met some other cool dads. You should hit them up on Dadbook. Yes. Yes, we should. If I ever figure out how social media works. <laughs> I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Come in and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm, seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. I like cauliflower. Um, any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah, I'm going out with some friends. Going out to cause some trouble. Um, of course, just keep you posted. Be home before midnight. And be careful. Yep. Make good choices. And call me if you need anything. Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, dad, daughter. Do you have plans? My plans are kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I mean, you can always eat ice cream and watch TV on your own. You're, you're a strong, independent dad who don't need no daughter or something. I don't know. I'm gonna... Hmm. Let's throw a party. Invite some dads. Yes. Invite the dads. Talk to the dads. It's all good. No problem. I'm just relaxing. Come on, Franklin. Invite the dads over. I really do hope she has fun. I have plopped down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and done mastermind. Celebrity chef Gavin Chapman looks like Gavin's making a roast wrap rack of lamb with rosemary rice mashed potatoes. Boop, 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 boop. I'd love to be able to cook like that. Mm hmm. Got a thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind. Also, one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. <laughs> Meat Hell. Okay, then. I'm not even sure what that one was about. It was just a lot of... Yeah, that sounds accurate. Um, a lot of yelling. Glance at my watch. It's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I send a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I wander in the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in our hands, so I'm sure she'll respond soon, soon. Unless she's driving home. Hope she doesn't text and drive. Reach into the free freezer and get ice cream sandwich. It's a little late, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone and nothing. Oh no, what's wrong with Amanda? Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? Half an hour passes. Oh my god. Oh my god, where's Amanda? I'm I'm worried for this child. Oh my goodness. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why don't I know any of her friend's phone numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friend's full names? Yeah, that's true. They're all just Emma's with initials. Who is Emma P? 
<laughs> I decided to send her another text. Just call her. As my father-in-law would say, just pick up the phone and call her. Uh, text me to let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. She oh, man. Oh, thank God. It's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally, she's back home. I know she's what, like an hour past curfew? I'm glad she's okay. Sup, sweetie, thank God you're safe. <sighs> now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Yep, that's a parent for you. Why didn't you ask you answer my text? Oh, whoops, guess I didn't see those. You didn't see any of them? Hmm. Came over, an oh, an hour and a half past curfew. Bad, bad daughter. Uh, she seems to be overreacting. N no. Yeah, I was scared. I was scared. I thought you would die. You were dead in a ditch somewhere. Oh. Yeah. You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Yeah, yeah, you go to bed. Amanda closed the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez, as I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? No, because I mean, when you know she's not coming home to your house, you're not as worried about her. Uh, makes scrambled legs for Amanda as a peace offering, eventually wanders into the kitchen. I thought about what you said last night. I should have texted you. I said I was gonna do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Aw, she apologized. Yay. Well, I trust you to make good choices. Yeah, I want to trust that you can Team Glamazon. I love that I named them Glamazon. <laughs> team Glamazon. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them. Already did. Bless you. Uh, Amanda scarfs down the eggs in the time that it takes me to wash the pan. All right, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? We've been over this. It's a social media site. It's Facebook for dads. What's a social media <laughs> Franklin, you are hopeless. Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda. I'm an old man. <laughs> You're not that old. You have turquoise hair. Um... All right, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on Dadbook, which, as it turns out, is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. It's it's basically Facebook for dads. Um, let's get some likes and dislikes. Oh my gosh, we get to fill out our Dadbook profile. That's so great. On a Friday night, you are most likely to polish and sort my coin collection, Netflix and Grill Baby, fall asleep watching the History Channel, torment my children with dad puns, sink into blissful oblivion, or sleep. Um, probably fall asleep watching the History Channel. That's what, that's what this dad seems to do. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? <clears throat> the Lost Shaker of Salt. Um, my survival skills have trained me for this day. Hmm. Let's... I mean... The Castaway on DVD is smart in theory, but you have no nothing to play the DVD with. Um, let's just go with a boat. That seems like the smartest choice. What are your turn-ons? Strong dead arms. Um, I mean, can you just, like all of them all of the above i'm trying to catch as many dads as possible so um let's say strong dad arms <laughs> what did you want to be when you grew up i mean i think dad book is more of a dating site for dads um what did you want to be when you grew up i wanted to be the president of space i wanted to be a good no, I wanted to be the president of space. <laughs> What's your favorite movie genre? Um. Hmm. Let's say, let's say old comedies that haven't aged well. Because that seems like it would just make them extra funny. 
maybe? I don't know. What's your ideal date? Yeah, Dadbook is definitely a dating site for dads rather than- it's like Tinder for dads rather than Facebook for dads. What's your ideal date? Um, oh, arson! <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, let's say doing a 1,000 piece puzzle together. What do you never leave home without? My sick vape. Um, my cripplingly low self esteem. Oh no. Mm, let's just say I never leave home without mm, my crippling the low self-esteem. Let's just say that. I spent a lot of time thinking about how proud I am of my child. Yeah, how proud I am of my child. Profile complete. See, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profiles. I used to message one of them or more than one of them or all of them. Um, all these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. Yes, Franklin, make friends with those dads. Friend those dads. Go get him, dad. Ah. Oh my goodness. Okay, who do we want to... Let's, let's check out Craig first, because we kind of already know him. Um, dad of three, business entrepreneur and fitness enthusiast. Struggling work, family, and fitness is a tough gig, but someone's got to do it. Uh... One last good cardio session in, box of energy bars, sub six minute mile, uh, beer pump world champion, um, buddy cop movies forever, scaling a huge dangerous mountain for fun, never leave home without an extra tube of energy gel, thinking about my mild time used to be so good, what happened, have I peaked, oh Craig. Uh, let's look at Matt's profile. Music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker. You can find me most days selling bean juice over at the Coffee Spoon or hanging out at the park. Um, on Friday night, you're most likely to perfect my cold brew setup one drip at a time, baby. Hmm. Hmm. My headphones, both in ear and over here, just in case. Okay. Let's look at Brian. I spend most of my days hanging out with my awesome daughter and thinking of new ways to grill things. If you like fishing, then we'll get along. Uh... Ooh, he likes romantic comedies. He wanted to be a fireman. I can see that. I can see that. I spend a lot of time thinking about how my daughter is smarter than I am. <laughs> I think Brian is really the daddest of all the dads. He's the, he's the dadliest. Robert, back when the internet gains sentience and just when the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you know it'll use this information against us, right? God. <laughs> what are your turn-ons? Don't talk to me. <laughs> be a grifter. Oh my god. Oh my god, Robert, I love you. Um never leave home without at least four knives. Um, let's look at Damien's profile. How do you do? I finally decided to join this information superhighway. I am not entirely sure how this works, but I will try my best to understand. I love long strolls through graveyards and spending my time with my son. If you would ever like to chat about the latest in Victorian fashion, the inevitability of our own demise, or black cats, please send me a letter. Or, you know, a message, maybe? On Friday night, you are most likely to listen to true crime podcasts while I taxidermy my newest specimens. I mean, that's me without the taxidermy part, but... <laughs> um, take a coffin to a desert island. What are your turn-ons pronouncing bosom correctly? I, I, I probably pronounced that incorrectly, actually, if that's... yeah. <laughs> you wanted to be a bat. <sighs> Damien, you are so a vampire. Never leave home without an upside down cross. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hugo, middle school teacher, high school teacher, writer of scholarly articles on 18th century literature for various esteemed publications. Ooh, he's been published. Hmm. If you're down here to tell me that my son put a cherry bomb in your trash, I know, and I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ooh, he likes muscles. Hmm. Okay. He's home without his glasses. Actually, I forget them at home a lot. Yeah, you're not even wearing glasses in your profile picture. 
I worry that people who are against e-readers are more in love with the idea of books than actually reading them. That's probably true, actually. Okay, well. Voted Mabel Bay's number one youth minister for five years running, living in my hometown with my beautiful wife and our four amazing kids. If I'm not in church, you can catch me out on the open water, setting sail in the seas of adventure. I love playing guitar and crushing my kids at Candyland. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he looks like it. Um... <laughs> my loving wife. Sure, Rob. Joseph. Sure, Joseph. Mmm... You know, I almost named my dad, had my dad's last name be Christensen, and I'm really glad I didn't. <laughs> uh, I spent a lot of my time thinking about how I can be a better man, husband, and father. <laughs> Lovely night on the town with my wife. Sure, Joseph. Sure. Keep telling yourself that. Um, let's, okay. Okay, we gotta message some dads. Let's, let's message Craig. Just like, you know, catch up, catch up with him. Managing dad is just part of being an adult. Okay, Craig. I wonder what Craig's up to today. I navigate to Craig's dad book page and type out a message. Hey, bro, or should I say neighbor? Let's catch up like old times. A couple of moments pass before I ding hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Hmm. Yeah, man, let's definitely hang soon. It'll be a little different from our old weekend long benders, but it'll still be fun. It'll be a fun opportunity to see my old buddy in his new element. Yeah. Of the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I walk over to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda. I guess she's back from school. Find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor. She seems to be making some art piece. But her eyes are a little puffy. Almost as if she'd been crying. Amanda, what's wrong? Oh my goodness. No, you're not fine. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it's just movies. Hmm. I don't think that's what you're upset about, Amanda. I want you to tell me what's actually wrong. I don't believe you, but I'll let it go. Um, what you're working on? Just claw short class. We're supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. I take a closer look at her collage. That's a lot of dogs. <laughs> Mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game and a go. Remember that one time you signed me up for softball and he brought me all the gear and then he shook me to the first game and then someone hit a ball towards me and I just ran off the field crying? Oh. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? No. Oh! She's finally ready to face her fears head on. Let's do this. Man and I make a short drive out to the local softball field for a kid's softball game. It's pretty packed. Climb into the... I don't see Craig. So one of the kids start crying and running off the field. Um, yeah, Amanda, no. I'm pretty disappointed for nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children fighting for my, my amusement. Definitely not that. Game starts the kids. Oh, Craig has rivers strapped to his chest again. In the pancake costume, doing jumping jacks. I guess that's the mascot. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that it's the Maple, J <laughs> Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. <laughs> the Flapjacks? <laughs> really? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> enough to know that the balls are relatively hard despite their name, but yelling is fun. Give it a shot. It's cathartic. Um. What are you willing to sacrifice to win? I think what's, what's important is that you're having fun! Go friendship and kindness! Yeah! Dad, could you kick it up a notch? Maybe throw some spice on that papaya? Yeah, spice up that papaya! I believe in you, Miranda! We watched a couple innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues, but Craig's trained his team pretty well. He's pretty good with kids. Well, it's amazing how hard they're hitting the ball and no one has run off of the field crying yet. Yeah, Amanda, honey, I think that's just you. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team is up at bat. They hit a fly ball out into center field. The little girl tries to get under the ball, but it misses her glove and hits her straight in the forehead. See, it's a completely justifiable fear. Yeah, yeah. She starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, checking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. 
Man, it's strange to think about how this was the guy who once backflipped off a roof into into the pool while shotgunning a beer. He's so responsible now. So weird. So weird. Ah, uh, crazy team is crushing the other team. The ocelots seem to have given up by this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. A batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and oh no, it's coming right for me. Is it gonna whack you in the face? Oh no, and base for impact. Yep, it hit me in the face. <laughs> uh, open my eyes, look over to see Amanda holding the softball, staring at it, and it oh, it didn't hit me in the face. She caught it. You saved me. Yay! She faced her fears and defeated the softball. Tenor moment. I don't think anyone else watching understood. I'm proud of you, Amanda. Uh, Craig's team wins. They all shake hands. Great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig, who's talking with some of the parents. Craig, great work, man. Thanks. We've been working hard all season, and it's great to see it paying off, so I'm proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Briar and Hazel? And Hazel, no, we have not. Oh, are those your twins? They're older than I thought they were. Um playing yeah you guys rule thank you you guys are twins huh so which of you is the evil one <laughs> hazel <laughs> yeah it's me <laughs> guys ever pretend to be each other i don't have a twin but i think if i did i'd be doing that constantly yeah i take all of our math tests i usually throw rocks at stuff and people get mad and i tell them i'm briar what <laughs> we will talk about this later yeah yeah Sounds good. One of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our wing. Win, Craig. I'm taking the whole team to get pizza. I don't know if I can. Not since the girls won. Oh, are we not going to get to see Janet? Lays her hand on his shoulder and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. Man, and I sure look. All right, all right. Is it cool if my bro comes along? The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Going to. It's a real place. Pizza. Um, and the stream of girls clad in softball gear pile out of a minivan and into the local pizza buffet, which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. A man and I trail behind them with Craig. Let's see what time is it. Um, I think I'm actually gonna call it a night here. This is kind of a good transition stopping point-ish. Uh, so thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to leave it a thumbs up so that I know and I will make more of these, probably. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. I'm bad at sign-offs. Okay. Bye.